Okay, check this out. What if I told you that there existed a vulnerability on Instagram that allows an attacker to change the thumbnails of your reels without any authorization. All an attacker needs to do is to send a specially crafted request to the Instagram server with your Instagram real media ID and he can just basically change the thumbnail of your reel to anything he wants, to any picture he wants. And this applies to any Instagram account. I mean, it's awesome, right? I mean, if you think from a hacker's perspective, it's awesome. But if you think from a normal Instagram user's perspective, it's actually scary. And hey, if you're also looking to step into bug bounty, I think you'll like this. You can take my free SQL injection for beginners course, which will basically teach you all about SQL injection from scratch, from a beginner's perspective, and it will also give you practical knowledge and hands-on training. This course will be available on Simply Learn's Skill Up platform, and the link will be in the description below. So to make sure you go ahead and check it out, I think you will really like it. I think it will really help you. And you'll also be getting a completion certificate when you complete the course. So go ahead and check it out. So this bug was discovered by Neeraj Sharma, a 20 year old security enthusiast from India. And his name is now listed in the Facebook Bug Bounty Program Hall of Fame page. You can see he's at the second position and Facebook actually offered him 49,500 US dollars for finding and reporting this bug to them, which I think is very well deserved considering how critical this vulnerability is. So basically this vulnerability is known as insecure direct object reference, short for IDOR. When this vulnerability exists on a web application, it enables an attacker to reference an object on the backend without proper authorization. Okay, so let's say there's an app known as vulnerableapp.com and it has some different users. For example, it has five users. In this case, each user having his or her own unique user ID. If the user of this app wants to view his profile, he will send a request to this particular URL right here. Profile.php question mark user ID equal to followed by his particular user ID. Now user ID over here, as you could see, is a get parameter. So when a user sends this request to the server of the application, the application must actually first check or verify that whoever is sending this request right here has proper authorization or he has permission to view the profile of the user ID mentioned in the request. So for example, let's say there is an attacker like this whose user ID is, let's say, 1003. So the attacker will send a request to profile.php with the user ID 1003. So when he sends this request to vulnerableapp.com, the application will respond back, providing the information that the request asked for, which is it will show the user his or her profile, which might contain different information about the user, like his name, email, phone number, etc. So what if this application is vulnerable to the IDOR vulnerability, the insecure direct object references vulnerability. In that case, this attacker who has the user ID 1003 can now send a request like this profile.php and he can just set the user ID to something else. For example, he can set the user ID to 1005. And when he sends this request to this application, since this application is vulnerable to IDOR, it doesn't check if the user who is sending this request is actually authorized or if he actually has permissions to view the profile of the user ID 1005. So it will blindly respond back giving the user profile of 1005 even though that is not actually the user ID of the attacker. In this way, the attacker can actually see the profile information of any user on this website because there is no proper access control that is done on the back end of this vulnerable application. So this is IDOR vulnerability in a nutshell. So the same kind of vulnerability existed on Instagram as well, which was found by Neeraj Sharma and reported on 31st January, 2022. Okay, now let me actually show you what this vulnerability is about and how Neeraj Sharma found this vulnerability. He has written a wonderful uh, write-up. If you want to check it out, I leave the link to this write-up in the description below. So go check out the description for the link. Okay, so this is the vulnerable endpoint and you can basically send a post request to this endpoint and give it a clips media ID 
which is basically nothing but your Instagram Reels ID. You know, every Instagram Reel has its own unique identifier. So you can give that Instagram Reels ID here along with the upload ID parameter, which is basically the ID of the thumbnail that you want to set for this particular Instagram Reel. And that's it. Since that endpoint is vulnerable to IDOR, the backend doesn't do any uh, access control check on its part and it basically sets the thumbnail of the provided Instagram reel to the photo that is mentioned in the request. And the result, well, you can basically change the thumbnail of any reel on Instagram to whatever photo you like. And here is actually a proof of concept video that is posted by Neera Sharma and let's actually go through it and let's see how he actually managed to exploit this vulnerability. So first of all, you can see he has connected his Android emulator to Burp Suit in order to monitor and modify the requests that he's sending to Instagram. So first of all, here is the victim's reel. So the objective is to change the thumbnail of this Instagram reel to whatever uh, image we like without any authorization. So let's see how he does that. So if you save an Instagram reel, that will send a request like this. And in that request, you can find the ID of that particular Instagram reel. And this is the clips media ID that we were talking about earlier. And then this is the attacker's Instagram account. And this is the attacker's reel. This is the, this is the reel that is posted from the attacker's uh, Instagram account. And basically you can now just go ahead, click on edit, and you can basically choose a photo from his gallery and set it as a thumbnail. So for example, he's trying to set this photo as a thumbnail. And before he sends this request, he is uh, intercepting this request with Burp Suit. And check this out. This is actually the vulnerable endpoint that we were talking about. So there's a post request that is sent to this vulnerable endpoint. And what it does is he modifies the clips media ID. So by default, this media ID is nothing but the ID of the attacker's Instagram reel. So what he does is he just changes it to the victim's Instagram reel ID. And that's it. Now when he forwards this, check this out. He goes to the victim's Instagram account and he refreshes the page. And you can see that the thumbnail of the victim's Instagram reel is modified to this exact picture. So that's that's about it that's the vulnerability that he discovered and it's awesome it, it's an awesome find and it's a very serious vulnerability and that is why instagram or facebook its parent company decided to give a huge bug bounty to him which i think is very well deserved so thanks for watching i hope you liked this video i hope you learned something new if you did like this video and if you did learn something new please don't forget to leave a thumbs up below and also comment in the comment section below if you're not yet a subscriber please read the subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon to receive instant updates from my channel i'll see you in the next video until then cheers